Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Please know that everything said in this video is alleged and it's my very own personal opinion. So y'all, I saw a clip over on Instagram of Destiny's sit down with Moses, the one from the upcoming episode or the one that passed or whatever. Um, the one that she claimed she only did so she wouldn't be fined. And I wanted to talk about it. I want to talk about that. I want to talk about the live that Sunny did with Moses and also the one that Sunny did by herself where she pretty much was coming for the folks who were calling her out on her bullshit, telling them to mind their business. And if they didn't have a business, to mind, find one, okay? I indeed got some shit to say about that. But first, let me get on Destiny and Son, um, Destiny and Moses' meetup, okay? Where Destiny walked in looking like an extra from the Matrix. Like, bitch, really? And it better be fucking cold outside the way you walked your ass in there with that long ass leather coat on. Okay, thrown over your shoulders and some fucking long ass leather gloves on. Okay, I guess she thought that she was a backup singer for the group Sparkle. I don't know what the fuck was going on, but that's the vibes that she was giving. Okay, I peeked how Moses was looking her up and down. He probably hit that again, even while he married. And I think Sonny knows that because Sonny had made a post. Okay, and her post had said, this is how you know a man won't cheat and then there was this self-proclaimed relationship guru up there talking about a man letting go of his past so i guess that was sunny saying if a man let go of his past he won't cheat and i was like bitch please okay please he'll let her go and then go right back to her it happens all the damn time okay it's like girl you fucked around and thought you won a prize and think everybody is so jealous of you and Moses' love when there would have to be love there for a motherfucker to be jealous of. And even then, I ain't jealous of shit. And neither is anybody else, okay? Moses is on the slow side and so are you. Love to a regular person ain't going to be the same thing with slow Joes like y'all. You know that's how, you know, how do I say it? She knows she went about things the wrong way, okay? Which is why... Her ass lied about it, only to end up admitting everything Destiny said she did. She told that girl that her and Moses were cousins, okay? She knew that him and Destiny were still involved and didn't care because they weren't married. She felt like she won a prize, okay? She felt like she won because she was the better person. And I'm sitting here like, girl, Moses got with you. You know what I'm saying? For one, to hurt Destiny, in my opinion, because she didn't come see him for his birthday, which he keeps mentioning, okay? And also because you had more to offer him than Destiny did. Meaning money and other opportunities. Moses want to come up, baby. Even though in his life he said that he was doing kind of all right before you. But I'm going to get to that in a minute. So, y'all, Destiny sat down at that table, okay? They said they what's ups, okay? He told her that he wanted to hear her perspective on things. Um, In my opinion, what he wanted was some filming time, which is bold as shit to bring his ass on that show to sit in front of a bitch he did dirty with a bitch she was cool with. But, of course, Destiny needed a storyline as well. So, this was it. And please don't get in my comments telling me that you don't care okay about what i'm talking about because i don't care that you don't care and i'm talking to those who be coming through here talking shit if you don't care leave it's that simple because i get tired of having to block folks you don't care about martell and Ariane, okay and whoever else but i still talk about them in my commentary so what i'm saying is respect my house it's fine if you don't care to hear about Destiny, but that's who I'm talking about in my commentary today that I took time out of my day to make for the ones who do want to hear about it. If you're not one of those people, I understand. Bye. Because if you get to talking shit in my comments, I ain't going to do shit but block you from commenting again. And when I do, don't bring your ass to my email asking me why I blocked your ass because you're going to already know. Okay? Because that's fucking rude. Now, like I was saying... Destiny sat down, okay, and her and Moses got to talking. Moses called himself wanting to clear up some things, talking about 
you know, he had talked to Marceau and I think Maurice or whatever. I guess they told him that he needed to do it for his wife, to clear up things for his wife. Like, child, not Marceau and Maurice trying to give folks advice that they don't take themselves. The same Marceau who wouldn't clear up with his wife whether or not he cheated on her, he just expected her to trust him. Even though he was quick to say that she cheated when she told him that she may be pregnant because he had a vasectomy. But of course, you know, that was probably just a made up storyline. So let me move on. Okay. But let me just say this first. The same Maurice who was about to, if he hasn't done it, you know what I'm saying? Bought his ex-wife Kiwa a house. Probably with Kimmy's money. And moved her up to Huntsville. That was the plan. I don't know if he went through with it, but that was the plan. To move her up to Huntsville, I think to be closer to Monster. So um, she would be, Kyle would be more comfortable letting Monster live with him. So he wouldn't have to pay child support. But anyway, Moses wanted to let Destiny know that him and Sonny's situation started after the two of them were done. Which was a lie. Okay. She was like, I don't know why you wait to now to clear it up. He claims that he was immature. I said, and still is, as far as I'm concerned. He could have had pro probably any girl he wanted to. But to move on with somebody he knew was cool with her, produced her, you know what I'm saying? That was foul. He apologized to Destiny for not letting her know that he was moving on with Sonny. And that's the thing. He shouldn't have been moving on with Sonny, period. Sonny should have been off limits. That's why this shit ain't going to work out. And of course, I don't think he wanted to work out. Well, I want I I'm going to say this. I think he wanted to work in his favor. I think he's there for a good time, not a long time. Okay. I put it like that. He want to get what he can get from, uh, from, uh, Sonny. That's how I feel. Okay. And that's why I say that shit ain't going to work out, especially for Sonny though. Sonny thinking Moses love her ass because she's slow, but he don't love nothing but what he thinks she can do for him. Okay. And Sonny Mount Everest head ass thinking somebody wishing on her downfall. Like, bitch, don't nobody even care enough about you to wish anything on you. We just telling you what the fuck we know, which is that you lose them the same way that you get them. Just like you swooped in and grabbed Destiny's man, another bitch gonna fuck around and take him from you, okay? And the shit ain't gonna be hard, especially if her head's smaller and her pocket's bigger. Because you may have some money, but it's somebody else out there who got more than you. And may just feel like you did about Destiny, that she deserves a guy like Moses, and you don't, bitch. Thinking that Moses is a prize, but gonna soon learn that he ain't. Bitches fuck up all the time thinking that they different. Always out here trying to have what the next bitch got. Always in competition, which ain't nothing but low self-esteem. Got to do shit like move in on another bitch man in order to feel like you the better one when you not. But anyway, Moses had the nerve to tell Destiny that him and Sonny had her best interest at heart. How the fuck you figure that when you hooked up with somebody she considered to be her homegirl? Even though Destiny realized that Sonny wasn't really her friend and that it was her job to make her think that she was her friend just to get the tea while they were filming, which was trifling. But what can you expect from a bitch that works under Carlos King? He trifling, his producers trifling, even Winter from Love and Marriage DC said that pretty much. The way they were egging on, the producers were egging on the guys at the reunion to verbally attack her. Allegedly, okay. This ain't even about destiny for me. It's about how people move in life. What him and Sonny did was wrong in my eyes and trifling, okay? As far as I'm concerned, I'm not even thinking about who they did it to. I'm thinking about the fact that they did it, period. And I would feel the same way. Have they done it, you know what I'm saying, to another bitch? And I feel like more people would understand that if they remove Destiny from the situation. I get that it's hard to have any kind of empathy for Destiny. But like I said, this ain't about her. I just can't stand people with fucked up character. People who lack morals and integrity. Because I have those things. And if you don't, I can't fuck with you. Because at that point, you're disgusting to me. Okay? So Destiny was telling Moses that if him and Sonny had 
her best interest at heart, they wouldn't be together. A good person wouldn't have done what he did to her. He told her that he didn't do anything to her. She said, oh yeah, really? Well, when did y'all start doing whatever, messing around or whatever? Moses told her that he had gotten Sonny's number in July and that they had started dating in August. She told him that it wasn't over between them until August. So him and Sonny started in July. She claims that when she told him that she was choosing herself. Well, what? what okay. She said, I'm choosing. She said, I told you that when I text you or whatever and told you that I was choosing myself. I don't know if she texted him or she called him, but the bottom line is that she claims that she didn't break up with, um, she didn't stop dealing with Moses until August, okay? He claimed that he told her that it was over in April. And that neck roll that he gave her when he said that shit was quite sassy. Just wanted to throw that in there. Destiny said, yeah. You may have said that in April, but you love my ass all the way until August. And how was it over in April or July or whatever when you just sent me money in August? Now, I got something to say about that because it's irritating. I know that times can get hard financially when you're a single mother, but it just seems like everybody is giving your ass money, Destiny. And from what I can see, you use it to try to keep up with the Joneses because I done seen your ass in what appeared to be Chanel earrings, Givenchy j uh, jacket, Dior slides, and whatnot, a person who's always needing handouts shouldn't be walking around in high-end fashions. They should be saving that money for rainy days or putting it towards other things, trying to, you know what I'm saying, other than trying to keep up with the latest fashions. Mel gave your ass money for your lights. Sonny mentioned she gave your ass money. Okay? She only mentioned that to try to get the people on her side, but whatever. You mentioned LeBaric wasn't supporting you. So that was one of your things. I saw the post where you thanked Taterhead for the money she gave you, even though it was for your birthday, I believe. And I'm sure Tisha done gave your ass something too. I heard she was the one that bailed your ass out of jail the last time that you got locked up, which was just a couple of weeks ago. You don't hang with people for nothing. It's something you want from them, in my opinion, whether it's money, clout, or some kind of opportunity. In my opinion, you are an opportunist just like Moses. You out here thinking people owe you something. Get out and get what you need instead of expecting folks to hand you shit. Because it's not a good look. You got all the Huntsville saying that they gave your ass money. You say you made a lot of money in corporate. So why don't you just go back there? The thing is that you won't, okay? You and Martel are regular ass people, but don't want to work regular ass jobs. Especially since Mel done made it possible for your asses to be on TV. Y'all asses are not legit business people, entrepreneurs. So just take your ass and go get regular jobs, in my opinion, instead of riding people coattails. Okay? But anyway, Destiny said that Moses didn't step up in a relationship. I take it that he didn't give her enough money. I don't know. He probably didn't have shit to give, which is why he probably was sunny, so she can give him money. She also said that Moses wanted her to court him like he was her girlfriend. Now, I can believe that. He probably didn't see any value in Destiny and felt like he shouldn't have to jump through hoops for her. He saw value in Sonny, and so he locked her down, just like Martel did with Mel right after she graduated from college. I remember Destiny saying in the episode from another season how Moses wanted her to cook for him and shit, and she wasn't feeling that. Okay? That's what she was telling Tisha. And I get that. We're not married. I'm flying out to see you, possibly trying to get a break from my child. Why would I act like your wife? Go there and slave for you and cook for you when I'm not your wife. Meet me at the altar and I will cook for you. After that, Sonny so desperate for a man, she may not have minded cooking for him and, you know, proving to him that she was wife material because, you know, it was a competition for her. She was trying to beat out all the other competition, which is why she felt like she won a prize once Moses decided to marry her. And ain't one shit but a problem. So Destiny was telling him that he was a liar. And when it came to him saying that they were done before he hooked up with Sonny, okay? She said that she had all the text messages with him saying, good morning, baby, and all that other bullshit. And she was like, you do know people can see this shit. And he was like, well, pull it up then. She was like, play with me if you want to or whatever. Okay? And that's because she would show the receipts if need be them to them as in Sonny okay and everybody else to prove that 
he was, you know, they were still talking when him and Sonny hooked up. In an interview Destiny did recently, she mentioned that she and Moses had a pregnancy scare. And that was why she claimed she didn't go back out there to see Moses for his birthday or whenever because her last pregnancy was traumatizing, she claimed, and she wasn't ready for another baby. And Moses was. And that part, I believe, only because in the trailer that was released last month, we saw where she named his business. No, she said that he named his business after the baby that they was to one day have, okay? Which is Justice. I think it's called, his business is called Law and Justice. I don't think it's as a lawyer, so I don't know what the fuck that's about. But I believe he said that his business was called Law and Justice or Justice Law or something. Um, Law is her baby's name that she has with her ex-husband, LeBarrett. So I guess Sonny felt a ways about that because she made a post saying, you lie so much, your veneer is going to fall out. Now that's some shit I hate when the new bitch come along and try to tell you what happened in your relationship with the nigga you was with. Sonny just don't want to believe that Moses wanted a baby with Destiny, okay? Destiny could be lying about it all. I don't know. But this is what she said. So Sonny and Moses had went live not long ago. Not long after that episode actually aired, okay? With Moses and uh, Destiny sit down. Sonny and Moses went live. And that confirmed for me, that live confirmed for me that Sonny is on the slow side. She was in that live doing all the talking, of course. Just a run in her mouth, talking about her and Moses focused on breaking generational curses and how her future baby is going to be raised in a two-parent household and going to be trust fund babies. She was like, that's my goal, and it's his goal as well. It's his goal because you got something he won't. And once he acquires that, his goal is going to be to move on with the next, to the next, okay? Ain't nothing wrong with you wanting a two-parent household for your kids. Ain't nothing wrong with you wanting to break generational curses. Ain't nothing wrong with wanting to teach your kids financial literacy, okay? But it's something wrong with how you went about getting the nigga that you plan on doing all those things with. And you fucking know it. Something tells me that she felt like Moses was right for her, not just because... He's what a lot of women would consider good looking, but because she can control him as long as she has something he wants. I can already see that she talks for him and probably going to be wearing the pants in that relationship until he gets what he came for and then move on. Okay. She talking about she want to break generational curses and shit. And, you know, I just feel like there were other men out there that she could have considered to link up with a nigga she knew that girl was dealing with was wrong. And please don't attempt to come for me over my opinions because I will block you. If you don't agree with me, that's perfectly fine. But don't get in my comments talking shit because of what I said. Because I said what I said. Some people's thing is, Destiny did this, Destiny did that. So I don't care about Destiny, I don't care about this or whatever. And I get that. But if you don't care, why click on the video? And for some people... I guess it's hard for them to remove Destiny from the situation like I did. This ain't about Destiny, as far as I'm concerned. It's about who Sonny and Moses are as people. Their character. I know Destiny ain't shit, okay? If Destiny would have been the one to do this to Sonny, I would have had something to say about that. Speaking in Sonny's defense. So Moses was like, pretty much, fuck what you talking about. When he was in that lab with Sonny, he was like, pretty much, fuck what you talking about. Because he wanted to hurry up and move on. When she got to talking about breaking generational curses and shit and raising babies together. Okay. Um, He was like, let's talk about the sit down that me and Destiny did. But of course, uh, Sonny didn't want Moses to talk about that. Okay. And she was talking about her future kids. So I take it that she lost the baby that she was allegedly pregnant with by him. If she was ever pregnant. I don't know. But yeah, y'all. Sonny was... um, just a run in her mouth talking for him okay oh i was just telling them what did she say oh i was just telling them why we proud to be married and why we chose love over someone over um some on and off shit that ain't going nowhere bitch you didn't know where it was going you and moses ain't going nowhere how about that but to divorce court just watch what i tell you because you ain't the better bitch. You just the more stable bitch. Okay? And that would be in the pockets. Definitely not the mind. 
And you may not even have a lot in that department either. You probably just like Stormy. Make a motherfucker think you got something when your ass struggling just like the next one. So while she was running her mouth about them being proud to be married and all the other gibberish, okay, Moses wasn't saying much, just "Mm mm-hmm. That's what he was doing to appease her. Now, this is when it really hit that Sonny was a dumb bitch talking about if Destiny was really your uh, your friend and really loved you, she would want to see you happy. I was like, you dumb ass, conehead ass bitch. How the fuck you sound besides dumb? What world do you live in? What bitch going to be happy that a nigga she was just dealing with is now with a bitch she considered a friend? Okay. So that was her insecure ass trying to make Moses think that Destiny never really cared about him. So, you know, she going to then say after that, what you think, baby? And you can tell that he was just saying some shit that he felt Sonny wanted to hear. He was like, you can't help who you fall in love with. Me and you, we both had the same chemistry and blah, blah, blah. Nigga, you had the same chemistry with a lot of women. Because you was with a lot of women. Let Sonny tell it. And guess what? You're going to be with some more women. And you know it. Okay? That's Sonny's relationship. It ain't Moses' relationship. He may have married her, but trust when I say. He ain't all in that shit like she is. He know damn well he don't love that girl. He was messing around on his other wife. From what I heard. Okay? Wasn't he? Why Sonny thinking she different or special? I'll never know. Maybe it's because she light skin and long hair. Y'all know how they be sometimes. Okay. He told the people that he made his choice and he living with it and he happy with his situation and hope everybody else be happy with their situation. And y'all, he called what him and Sonny had a situation, not a marriage. And that's because, in my opinion, he doesn't see that shit as being permanent. Watch what I tell you. Ain't no way he done fell in love with that girl in just no fucking five months. And he was just a hoe. Let Sonny tell it. She said that he was seeing several women. So there you have it. And as soon as him and Destiny, not him and Destiny, as soon as uh, him and Sonny fall out, he gonna try to run back to Destiny. Destiny has been his own and all for 15 years. That shit ain't going to change. And Destiny just may start back fucking with him just to spite Sonny. Watch what I tell you. Now that's some tea for that ass right there. So after that live with Moses, she made one by herself. Because I guess she was, you know, mad because people weren't taking too well to her bullshit. So she made a live pretty much telling people to mind their business. Get some business to mind. So pretty much she was like, the same people commenting on her life, they money ain't right. They relationships ain't right. They credit ain't right. They house ain't right. They teeth ain't right. They pH balance, all that shit ain't right. And she was like, they got the audacity to comment on somebody else's shit. So here's what I want to say to her regarding that. It's not about the audacity, Sonny. People have to, you know what I'm saying? People have the right to comment on your life okay it's about them having the right to come in on your life since you came to the forefront and told folks to watch the show because your whack ass is gonna be on there and then trying to get folks to watch your whack ass tubi movie okay as well so since you and your clown ass husband wanted to join the circus okay like the clowns that y'all are you're now a public figure And people have a right to comment on the bullshit you pushing in their faces. So fuck you and anything that you're talking about. You know, and this is how I feel. You want to know what ain't right? The size of your motherfucking head. Okay. You want to know something else that ain't right? The fact that you a thirsty bitch. The fact that you have low self-esteem. So you have to do trifling shit to feel good about yourself. And you want to talk about a bitch pH balance, bitch, you better be more concerned about yours because you the one spreading them wide for the whole you to marry, not us. And it sounds like you a hoe too, which is why you had no problem spreading your legs to somebody else, nigga, a nigga who was fucking with multiple women. When you kiss Moses, you tasting destiny and every other woman he done been with 
which for all you know could be all of St. Louis, Huntsville, and whatever else. Because some tell me that Moses be all around the globe with it. In other words, he be all around your head with it. Because your head is the size of a fucking globe. You get it? You mad at the people. But be mad at yourself. Okay? Because you a dumb bitch that settled for a community pain. And about to be crying your ass all the way down to divorce court. I'm sure we'll see your attention-seeking ass on Judge Toller soon. You thinking you about to build with his ass whole time. That nigga about to build stress in your chest, bitch. What good is having a degree when you just going to be dumb? Bye, bitch. Because you want to insult people just because they don't agree with your slow, ignorant, trifling, watermelon head ass. Bye, bitch. Okay? Because them same people you insulting are the same people you begging to watch your Tubi movies. Okay? And by the way, fuck whatever you're selling because people ain't buying it. In my opinion, you're trash just like the rest of the motherfuckers on the show. Y'all fit in very well. Okay? You fit in very well with them. Y'all, that's going to be all for this video. Y'all take care, and I will chat with y'all in the next one.